as a video editor, I know firsthand how frustrating it can be to go through hours and hours of footage to try and find usable clips. Or maybe you're filming bits to camera like I am and you just wanna edit out the bits you got wrong. Well, there's a new update to Premiere Pro and there's something called text-based editing, which is really gonna change the game. So let me show you how that works. Hey, welcome to the video. If you've ever spent countless hours going through your footage, maybe looking for keywords, or if you talk to camera like I do and you're trying to edit out your mistakes, you know how long it can take to, to really get your edit down. Well, there's this new feature in Premiere Pro called text-based editing, which is really going to speed up your editing. And I think it's gonna be super handy for people who aren't you know, experienced editors. So let's quickly go over how this works. So essentially, you bring all of your A-roll or your talking head pieces into Premiere Pro. You then turn this new feature on, Premiere is gonna detect all of the text for you, and then it's gonna allow you to name the speakers in the video. So let's say you're doing an interview, you can name speaker one and speaker two, so it's easy to see who's talking. In there, you can actually search for specific words or phrases, and then, if you can delete a bit of text from a Word document, you can edit in Premiere now. You can find phrases, highlight them, delete them, and they're gonna be gone. It's gonna do all the cuts for you. So this is gonna make it super easy to get a nice clean edit, and you can start overlaying your B-roll. Plus, you can easily edit out ums, ahs, and spaces, and Premiere is gonna do this all for you. But that's not all. Text-based editing can be super handy if you're creating social media videos. Maybe you wanna take out sound bites from interviews and just make little YouTube shorts or Instagram reels. You can do that with this because it'll allow you just to quickly find some chunks. Maybe you knew what the interviewee said. You can search for that, find it, and quickly make a 60-second video, for example. But anyway, enough of that. Let me show you how this works in Premiere Pro Beta. So depending on when you're watching this video, you'll either need to download Premiere Pro Beta if it's still May 2023. If it's beyond that, this may already be in your version of Premiere Pro. If you do need to download the beta, just click this icon at the top here and then download it from here. Once it's downloaded, open it and then start a new project. Then at the side here, make sure this is turned on. Enable automatic transcription under the import settings. And then click create. Drag the clip in that you want to edit. I have this interview here from the NAB show that I'll use. Now drag it into your sequence. Before you get into the text-based editing panel, there's an option you'll need to make sure is turned on for it to automatically transcribe the clip. If you go into settings here and then transcription, make sure automatically transcribing clips is ticked. Then go into window, workspaces, and then text-based editing. And now you'll see it's transcribed the video in seconds. Now, once you've done this, you can start with text-based editing. So instead of going through your timeline and having the problem of going through the whole interview, looking for the pauses, cutting the starts and ends and piecing them all together, you can literally just edit the text. So as you can see, when you highlight the text, it actually creates in and out points on your timeline. Then when I delete this, it will delete it here, which is super efficient. Another great thing you can do is enable this icon here. This will show you all of the pauses in the clip. And then when you click it, you can delete the pauses and it will automatically cut the clips together and also update the timeline and the timecode. Finally, you can search up phrases of words and just highlight these to either cut them out if you're repeating things, or maybe you wanna take snippets out to make a little social media post. You can highlight the section, copy it, and then you can just paste it into a new sequence and it will paste the clip, which will save you a ton of time. So let me know what you think of this new feature in the comments section below. I know we're gonna be using it here a lot at Editor's Keys. If you wanna learn about all of the other updates to Premiere Pro, check this video up here and I'll see you in the next video.